keep watching if you want to see how I go from this to this. I haven't shot a lot of videos about the work I've been doing in the forest behind our place, but I have spent a lot of time back there. Honestly, there's more work to be done than I could get done even if we were staying here forever. Wendy considers it a waste of time because this part of our homestead isn't technically productive. There's no space for gardens. We just own a tiny sliver of the forest, so we can't really let our goats forage back there. I love this environment. It feeds my soul. Sometimes you just need to do things that feed your soul, not just your body. Primarily, I've concentrated on eradicating blackberries that have been out of control back there. I've also been establishing walking trails and trying to uproot as much ivy from around the trees as I can. This first sequence shows me establishing a section of trail.
hoped that deep mulch would help suppress weeds back there. It didn't work as well as I'd hoped. I'll admit, chipping and shredding probably wasn't worth all of my time and effort. I positioned larger deadfall strategically to help define the forest trails. This next sequence shows a before and after along the creek near our road. I should have probably shot this before clip earlier. I've already spent a good deal of time removing blackberries and ivy from back here. And here we have the restored landscape. It's a lot of work, but I find it very rewarding. That before clip was pretty much what our whole place looked like before I started removing all of these invasive species out here. Finally, I've got some clips from way back when we first moved here, and I'll intercut them with what the trail looks like now. This patch had been the thickest and hardest to remove area of blackberries. As you can see, there are a lot of blackberries back here that I will eventually have to take care of. This is a real, a real monster patch here. That monster patch had been the largest area of blackberries. I've had enough time to dig out most of the roots, but it would take me a couple of years of digging out green shoots 
when the ground is soft to really feel good about it. The forest loop trail meanders around. This path is a shortcut from one side to the other, making that loop into more of a really badly drawn figure eight. Through here is a section that had a lot of blackberries that I've already taken care of. All I've done is uh, dug out as much of the root as I could the first time. There, this is by no means um, really even tackling it very much at this point. I'm going to have to uh, wait for next year to see what grows back and then dig out more of those roots and just keep keep doing that until the blackberries don't come back anymore. This uh, back part of the trail I've had a little more time to establish or I should say re-establish and uh, so it's a little bit easier to see as a trail than that first part where we uh, got started off the road. I don't know if you can see it very well, but our house is just right across the ravine at this point. When I first started working in the forest, I was doing things closer to our house. After I figured out where the main trailhead should be from the road and how I wanted the trails to go, I concentrated on the half of the trail system that was further away. Not having trails closer to our house or not having real accessible trails closer to our house would give us a little bit more privacy. I've done my best, and I feel good about that. All of this work has made me physically stronger. I've gotten more done in a few years than I thought I would. It's also given me confidence that I can tackle and manage a larger piece of land like the one we're going to be moving to.
I am a little disappointed that all of my efforts may be for nothing. Those trails will quickly be overgrown when I'm gone, but the bones will still be there if the city ever decides to make this into a park. Thank you very much for watching.